Greetings and salutations, friends. Today we are building the WCS Dragonfly, a small but powerful C-Class fighter with modest cargo space and only one private habitat. This classy little ship features a very unique design and is perfect for solo adventuring or discovering all the lonely little unexplored corners of the galaxy with that special someone. Sporting a gorgeous color scheme, this lovely little lady features the DS40.2 Ares Bridge from the Deimos Star Yard in the Sol System, the Nova Galactic NG20 landing gear from New Homestead on Titan, also in the Sol System, and conveniently hidden away so no authority will ever discover it, the multi frequency scan jammer from the Red Mile on Parima 3 in the Parima system. The Fusor DC403 reactor can be obtained just about anywhere, but I bought mine from the Stroud Eklund showroom on Neon in the Voli system. Every other part can be obtained at any of your outposts. So without further ado, I am the wolf, I got my coffee, let's build a spaceship. Okay friends, here we are in the ship builder at our outpost. And if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I like to establish a basic skeletal structure off of which I can build. And so what I've done here now is I've laid down 10 one by one habitats and you can see that I have exceeded maximum length. So let's take one away and now I am under maximum length, which is where I need to be. So next I'm going to add my cockpit and that is going to be this DS 40.2 Ares bridge that I mentioned. That guy will go there and I've exceeded maximum length again. So let's remove habitats until I no longer have that error message. So now I have the bridge where I want it. Now I'm going to come back here to the aft end of the ship and add an engine and that's going to be this Amun Dunn X300 engine. We're going to put that guy right there. And then I'm going to delete two of these habitats. I'm going to come to my structural tab and I want a Stroud Eklund structural piece. And that is going to be this engine mount right here. That guy will go right there. And let's just check our errors. I am definitely too long, so let's um, remove habitats until that error message disappears. So there we go. That is our basic ship structure. So now I'm going to take these three one by one halves away and I'm going to add the actual habitats I want to use. And I'm going to use, first of all, a Hope Tech companion way one by one. That guy is going to go there. And then I want a Hope Tech 2x1. We're going to make that a captain's quarters. And that guy is going to go there. And those are the only habitats we're going to have on this ship. So next I'm going to go to my structural tab. I'm going to go all the way back down to Stroud Eklund because this resets every time for some reason. And I'm going to add two of these on each side. So let's just select these two and copy. We'll put those there and then all the way back up to the Deimos section. I want to add the Deimos hull A. We'll put one of those on each side. And now to those, I'm going to attach a couple of things. First of all, the grav drive here, and that is going to be the J52 Gamma. That guy's going to live right there from now on. Then two tabs over is my reactor tab. I'm going to add that Fusor DC-403 that I mentioned. And now I'm passing through the floor, so I'm going to go ahead and add my landing bay so that we can stop doing that. And this landing bay is going to go right under here. So it sits halfway under the Deimos bridge and the one by one 
and then next I'm going to add the docker and that is going to go on top of the one by one and then I'll just have uh, one ladder basically effectively going right through that hab and no other ladders anywhere else so that's exactly the way we want it and now I'm going to add some landing gears and that's going to be the Nova Galactic NG20s that I mentioned we're going to put one of those guys right there, copy, and you go right there, and then copy, and then we're going to flip this to that middle configuration, and he's going to tuck right under there, and that's all the landing gear we're going to need. Next, I'm going to go to the cargo tab, and I'm going to grab this 10ST hauler, shielded cargo hold. We'll flip that to the aft configuration and that'll go right under there. And together these three parts will form sort of a belly of this dragonfly, which looks really cool in my opinion. Uh, next, let's just kind of go through our tabs and see that we've added the things we want. So I have my cockpit, my docker. Uh, we will add some more engines and oh, I know what I want. I, bleh, 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 I can't speak. As soon as the microphone turns on, the mouth stops working. Let's get some fuel tanks. There we go. Mouth is working again. And I'm going to use the 900T H3 tank. Those two guys are going to live right there. I'm going to put one on each side. To those, I am going to add a couple more engines. Oh, I don't need to mess around with this. I can just copy and paste and copy and paste those two guys are going to go right there and now that i've done that i want to get into the first of two optional glitches for this build and so if you want to go 100 percent glitchless you can take this hope tech nose hope tech nose b flip it to the aft configuration and you can put one right there and then copy and paste and put one right there However, I thought it looked better to have these Hope Tech pipes and to flip those to the aft configuration. And then I'll delete this guy. I'll select this guy, bring him over here so that he attaches, but he's red. Um, and then what I'll do is I will flip once, flip again, and then cancel. And then that guy will stay right there. And I just like the way that looks so much better. Um, and so I'm going to do the same on this side. We'll delete that guy. I'm going to copy this guy, bring it over here. I'm going to place it there, and then I'm going to select it. It's very important that you ha that you place it first, um, just kind of out here in the air, and then select it, bring it over so that it attaches, but it's red, and then flip, flip, and then cancel, and it will stay right there. If you just try to copy and do that, it will um it'll disappear when you hit the cancel button this way it stays right where you want it so um that being done let's move along with the build um let me go through my tabs and see what else i want to add i have my bay um, i can add a couple of cargo pieces so we're going to use these 200 cm ballast shielded cargo holds and we're going to put one there and then Flip. That guy's gonna go right there. So I've have I have all the cargo that I'm gonna use on this build. So next I have my cockpit, I have my docker, I have all the engines I want. The scan jammer will do later. I have fuel tanks, I have gears, I have grab drive, I have ha all my habitats, my reactor, my shield. I while I'm here, I guess I can go ahead and add the shield. And I'm going to use the uh Assurance SG-1800 shield generator, and that guy is going to live right there. And you know what? I'm going to go back to the equipment tab. Where is it? I'm going to go ahead and just pop the uh, scan jammer right there for now, um, so I don't forget it. So cargo, cockpit, stalkers, blah, blah, blah. Let's go through all the way to the shields. Okay, structural, weapons. All right, I have everything basically that I, uh, basically that I want. Um, but I'm just going to go down here and let's see. So 
We can add this as an option to have another place to attach the scan jammer. So if we want it there, we can put it there. Uh, next, I want to have this, this uh, Deimos braking engine. This guy's gonna go on the front of this uh, Deimos hull right there. And then we're gonna put one of, another one of those guys there. I don't need that or that or any of these. I will take this guy and put him here and then copy and put another one here. And then another option for placing this uh, scan jammer was uh, right on top of this Deimos spine. Um, so you have a few different options of where you want to place that. Next, I want to add this Deimos tail. We're going to put that guy right there and then copy and paste. And that guy is going to go right there. And now that I'm here, I want to talk about the second optional glitch for this build. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these off and just put them over here in the air over here. And then I'm going to delete these two guys. Actually, I'm going to take you, put you there for now. I'm going to delete those two spines, and I'm going to add this spine, the Deimos Spine C. I'm going to flip him to the aft configuration. I'm going to put one there and then copy and put one there. And then I'm going to take the scan jammer and put it right there. And then I'm going to take this guy, select him, bring him over here, and then flip once, flip again, and then cancel. And that hides the scan jammer right in there. And um, I say that's optional. You can do it any other way that I showed you for the placement of that scan jammer. But um, I really had a hard time with placing the scan jammer on this build. Oh, real quick, let me show you. We got to do it again for this side, the little glitch. So flip flip, cancel, there it goes. So yeah, I just felt like anywhere, because you can't color the scan jammer, so I felt like anywhere I placed it, it just looked ugly, so I decided to glitch it so that I could hide it. Um, it's totally up to you if you want to use glitches or not. Um, that's why I'm showing you uh, different ways of doing this. So now I'm adding these Deimos wings, and um, we're gonna have an aft and a four, and then we'll copy. And uh, we'll copy a four, and then we'll copy a aft, and we'll uh, put those there. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry for the voice crack. Then we'll copy another one, flip it to the starboard side, and then copy and paste, and then we'll copy again, flip to the aft configuration, and then copy again. So now we have four of those. And then continuing down the structural tab, let's see. I know there's a few more things, or at least a couple more things I want to add. Yes, I want to add some of these Nova thrusters to create sort of a sort of visual that we're looking at, sort of an insectoid thorax and abdomen here with some sort of, you know, chitiny ridges or, or something like that. We're going to put those right there, three on each side like that. Next, I am going to add, oh yes, these Nova weapon mounts. Those are going to be very important for this build. I'm going to put that there, and then that there. And next, I want, before I go any further, I'm going to come back to this Nova engine strut, and I'm going to place one there, and then copy, and place one right there. There we go, perfect. And now let's continue down the structure tab. Just make sure I've add all I've added all of the structure that I want, and I think I'm good. So now I can add the weapons. And as always, you can add any weapons you like in what are, whatever configuration you like. I am gonna add this missile launcher right there. And then actually what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to delete you. All right, I'm going to add that missile launcher right there. I'm going to add this Gauss gun 
that guy is going to go if I can get him to right there and then I'm going to add a couple of lasers we're gonna put I'm a big laser believer we're gonna put one there and one there and then we'll just uh, copy this whole thing and bring it over here there we go so I have one error which means that I need to assign my weapons so we will assign laser gauss gun missile launcher here we go so far so good and now I my credit balance is 158 so I'm missing something probably a structural piece that I've forgotten to add here so once again I'm gonna try to figure that out and then I will splice the video and resume once I figure out what it is okay friends I figured out what it was that I was forgetting so I copied a couple of these Deimos wing E's and I um, placed one there behind that cargo hold then flip and another one there behind that cargo hold and now my credit balance is zero so now we can see that the dragonfly is done so now let's exit out of this and take a look at the color sliders greetings and salutations friends future wolf here as I was nearing the end of editing my video, I realized I may have made a little bit of a kind of a big error in showing you how to assemble this ship, and therefore it came out um, very different from what I had originally intended. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. So I'm going to start by re uh, selecting this Deimos hull and moving it right there. Selecting this one moving that right there just getting them getting those two out of the way then we'll select this whole assembly move that out of the way we'll come to this side select this whole assembly move that out of the way and then we'll put these Deimos hulls back where they were I'm gonna re I'm going to move these two cargo holds we'll just get those out of the way for now and now we're gonna fix my error so I'm going to select this Deimos Wing E, I'm going to flip it to the aft configuration. That guy is going to go right there. Then we're going to select this whole assembly and we are going to attach it so that the fuel tank is attached to the Deimos hull instead of the grav drive. And what that does is that causes the wing to sit forward uh, beyond the front of the bridge here. And that is the way that I originally intended for it to look. And uh, when we get into the color sliders, you will see that, um, that it's actually put together correctly. So let's uh, put this back, flip, flip, cancel, and then let's fix the other side. So let's grab this, flip it to the aft configuration, attach it to the reactor, select the whole assembly, Put it back so that the fuel tank is now attached to the Deimos hull instead of the reactor. Then select the cargo hold, place it here, and then flip, flip, cancel. And then there we go. That is how the ship is supposed to look. And as I said, once we get into the color sliders, you'll see that it is put together correctly. So thank you for indulging me and letting me add this addendum. And let's get you back to your regularly regularly schedule the video okay friends the main color of the ship is this green color that puts the hue slider just under the l of the color 2 tab the saturation is all the way to the right and then the brightness is midway above the second color box down here at the bottom next we have this darker green color that keeps the hue and saturation where they are but moves the brightness slider over by about four clicks so that it's halfway between the first and second color square. Then we have this yellowish orange color that puts the hue slider just to the left of the number one of the color one tab. And then saturation and brightness are all the way to the right. And then finally we have this pretty blue color that puts the hue just under the L of the color three tab. And then the saturation and brightness are halfway between the 10th and 11th color squares down here at the bottom. 
And that's it for our colors. So let's exit out of this and go take a look at the interior. Alrighty, upon entering the ship, we find ourselves inside that Hope Tech one by one. So hello, Sarah. So I will uh, try to take a nice, slow, leisurely look around at everything so you can take it all in and enjoy it. We got those oxygen tanks and biohazard and flammable 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 bubble <laughs> materials um which i think uh, add a really cool uh level of immersion that's why i always use the companion way over the uh the storage area for some reason there's a lot more cooler things to look at um and then uh, we come into the aft end of the ship with our captain's quarters so we'll take a nice leisurely look at everything in here we got our all important coffee maker coffee is life can't live without that and we have our lavatory can't live without that either we got the uh, many rolls of toilet paper apparently we were getting ready for the pandemic um, we have uh, this uh, nice little private captain's desk with a plushie and some other things not sure who left that tea there that's sacrilege gonna have to have a talk with Sarah she probably left that there um, we know how those Brits are. So um, <laughs> then we have the, our navigation console. There's our coffee thermos. Uh, some storage. I'm sure we got some action figures hidden away in there. We got a little desk where we can strategize with our friends. We got this nice comfy looking bed with a plushie and uh, some drawings. Uh, not sure who drew who drew those. Uh, was it Sarah? Cora? Sona? Uh, did we draw those? I don't know. Um, but yeah, all uh, sorts of very cool uh, knickknacks and doodads and tchotchkes to add to immersion. Hello again, Sarah. Uh, next, we'll come into the bridge here. And this, I've never featured this bridge in any of my builds before, but it is probably, arguably, one of the best bridges that we have uh, to choose from in Starfield. So we have these little um, benches here with some computery doodads. Then we come in here to this gorgeous bridge. Um, so many cool things to look at, including another navigation console. And we'll turn to the left here. We'll come into here. We got some windows looking out this way. And then we'll do a slow little 360. Um, we got some benches here. That we can set in uh, benches or chairs or whatever that we can sit in for takeoff and then we'll uh, slowly make our way um, I'll take a look up here we got some more computery doodads some lighting all of which is very cool and we'll come in here to the starboard side and we got uh, and some more windows over here some more seats so Sarah's getting ready for takeoff already and then we'll come to the fore end of the bridge and we'll take a look at all of the all of this uh, all of the window windows here that we have um, if my mouth can um, remember how to speak and how to say the word windows um, <laughs> yeah we got just it's so much so much visibility that's the word I was looking for so much visibility when uh, flying around especially in first person view on this ship um, yeah, this is a very, some more seating. Yeah, this is a very, very, very cool bridge. Um, I, I really love this bridge. And yeah, just take a moment, take it all in. That is the interior showcase of this ship. And without further ado, let's exit out of this and take a 360 look at the entire ship. And there you have it, friends. There is the WCS Dragonfly. I hope you like this ship. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. 
and I look forward to seeing your own ships in the Starfield Ships subreddit. Thank you for watching, good luck, and happy gaming. Bye bye